Hey guys, back out working on another project I got. I uh, saw this whole setup on Marketplace the other day. Guy was asking 500 bucks. I ended up only paying 400. Main thing that piqued me on this was this uh, Lister three cylinder air cooled diesel engine. Pretty cool unit. I was hoping to get this and take the engine off in this uh, Rockford hand clutch. It's apparently a PTO spline out of that. Keep those, set those aside for a future project. And then uh, sell this huge pump. I think it's 4,500 PSI through a one inch line. So that's pretty, pretty good pressure. I was hoping to maybe convert this trailer to uh, like an ATV trailer or a you know like a lawn trailer but it's uh it's got a bent axle and this front bar is cracked off and totally twisted out of the way so uh, it's not going to be practical to keep this trailer so the uh, whole setup here on the front, the motor, the clutch, the pump will come off and everything else will go to the scrapyard. Probably get a couple hundred bucks. There are some other odds and ends that I will take off. It's got a big nice hose reel on it. But I don't know, that hose is pretty old. That reel is way bigger than anything I would need. Uh, so we'll just see. Nice thing is it does have a belt drive hydraulic pump because that, uh, that drum on the back is actually chain driven. So there's a hydraulic pump up on the motor and then there's a hydraulic motor back here. So I'll take those off and keep those as well. So I'm going to. I already checked the motors free. I did crank it over for a second with this battery pack. I might need to put the battery out of the Mustang into it to get it to crank over faster, but I'll hit it with some uh, starting fluid and see if I can get it to fire off. Do kind of a uh, will it start video for you guys. Like I said, this is a Lister air-cooled three-cylinder ST3 model diesel engine. And I'm going to pause for a sec, get the camera set up, and I'll crank it over. Alright, let's uh, see if the old girl fires off. I'm just taking a guess on the uh, run-kill position that they have rigged up on this. Kind of seeing if the common sense way is the way they had it set up. The electric fuel pump is working. Let's see if it pops off.
there you go. You can't ask for any better than that. A little four hundred dollar <laughs> scrapyard deal. Cool little three cylinder air cooled diesel engine. I'm thinking this is the decompression. Yep, that is the decompression. So it would have spun over a lot easier if I had put it in decompression. Dang, I'm blown away. Pretty cool. Now I just need to find uh, find something to put it in. <laughs> the guy that uh, I got it from said they built this rig about 20 years ago and they quit using it about 10 years ago. And last time it ran was like four years ago, but they said the guy they got it from had it in a Ford 8-in tractor, which that would be a pretty good setup in that thing. Those gas engines only had 25 horse and like 80 foot-pounds of torque. I think this one, this is a 1.9 liter three-cylinder. It's rated at 31 and a half horsepower, but I'm guessing the torque is probably... 100, 110 foot pounds. So, I mean, probably not anything you'd ever want to put in a car, but as far as like a tractor or something like that, pretty good. Uh, so, I wanted to show you guys real quick how uh, this decompression system works on this and how it works on other similar diesel engines. So, basically, on this side of the engine, You've got your camshaft and push rods that come up. You can actually see those push rod tubes. And so on this side, that's actually the exhaust valve. That's the well, that's the exhaust valve under the exhaust rocker. And then also back in there you can see the unit style fuel injector with that fuel line going into it um, you probably can't see it over there the intake valves over on the other side so the way this decompression system works um, when you pull this over this actually let's see focus in here real quick so that exhaust valve when this lever moves it rotates this shaft when you pull it all the way it actually pushes that exhaust valve exhaust rocker down which moves the exhaust valve down ever so slightly um, basically completely reducing the see if I can get a good Without me shaking too much. Let's see, focus. So when that goes all the way down, that just slightly moves down. So the exhaust valves are held slightly open which means the compression is pretty much zero because all the compression is just going out of the exhaust. And the reason for that is since these are so high a compression, these are probably 19 to one, anywhere to 22 to one compression. So you would need a decent size fully charged battery to crank this over with enough speed to have it fire. So on older, weaker starting systems, you would have a decompression. So you would basically spin the engine over with no resistance. Once the engine was up to full rotational speed of the starter, you would just kick that back and that would close those valves instantly increasing the compression and then it would ignite because diesel needs the heat from the compression to ignite it. And I will actually make a quick video showing you that in action, actually. So just pause for a second and you can see that. All right, so like I showed you earlier, 
Uh, all the way over here is so the decompression is on. So the, the exhaust valves are down just slightly. So I'll show you when I crank it, it's going to crank over a lot faster, but it will not fire because it doesn't have the compression to ignite the diesel. So make sure that's on. I'm going to crank it over and just listen for the difference in engine speed when I move that lever back. Yeah! 